All right, folks, so on Saturday, while many folks were still basking in the president's uh, eulogy, talking about singing Amazing Grace, Bree Newsom said, you know what, I ain't talking about this flag anymore. I'm taking this damn flag down. The 30-year-old literally scaled the pole on the grounds of the South Carolina State Capitol and removed the Confederate flag. This is a video of her. Uh, this was a planned action. Uh, they plant, plotted this whole thing out. You see her. Uh, she, she took the flag down. Uh, she's got the harness on, the helmet, you name it. Uh, and then, of course, uh, came down. She and uh, the gentlemen who uh, were with her, they were arrested. Uh, they were arrested. And then uh, two black workers came back out and put the Confederate flag right back up. But lots of uh, folks were saying, free Brie. Uh, she's, she is out on bail. They are facing charges uh, in this case as well. Y'all, I want to come back to y'all panel. Y'all can let, let, let the video keep rolling. Just, uh, of course, uh, Huey Newsom, Gina Page, and we have Cleo Monago. We also have Bishop Harry Jackson. What do y'all think about Brie? I love her. She, just as you said, she says, enough talking. We don't need to talk about this anymore. And I think she's a great example of how we need to take some action. That's right. We don't have to just sit around and take what's being given to us or what's happening to us. We have the power to make a change. We have the power to do anything, but we're constantly being hypnotized. Uh, symbolically, Roland mentioned that two black folks were the ones who were sent up there to put the flag back up. That's power. I'm sorry, man. I, I would have been like, you know what? Y'all got to send somebody. Okay. Else. I mean, I okay. ain't. Y'all going y'all gonna to find somebody to put that flag. I mean, there's always, a, there's always a psychological counter strategy, like erasing the, what's, how devastating this really is to black people and that's, ter that's just terroristic. They're constantly doing stuff to kind of counter things and put things back on track with the racist agenda of this country. B Bishop, it's interesting because uh, I was looking at this podcast um, of um, uh, Ed Schultz. Mm -hmm. Where I, I was trying, to, I'm trying to figure out what, the, what, what. I'm sorry, what the hell he's talking about? He pretty much says that you know, look, you know, we're not going about this thing right. You know, that is our history, uh, and you know, we need to, we need to. I'm on Mediaite website, and again, I was, I saw it this morning. He said that the that America's desecration of the Confederate flag is unproductive. No, it's crazy. The flag. Yeah, this y'all, this 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 that this liberal. Ed Schultz. Liberal. Go, yeah. go ahead. Well, the flag is a symbol <laughs> of terrorism, and it has been. That, that Confederate flag uh, was brought back during the time of civil rights struggles. It's emblematic of the KKK. It's almost more a KKK flag than it is really a flag of the Confederacy. It did, never uh, flew over the Confederacy for real. So I think this is important symbolism. I think it's an important first step. And if you think about change, all the people that talk about leading change say, you got to start with baby steps and move to more substantial steps. I think the outcry against the flag is good. I think we should celebrate it. I think the Confederate flag should be removed, not sold. And I think there is a change in attitude under this pressure that we can capitalize. Well, and again, I think her skill in this poll makes it perfectly clear uh, that I mean, it's, it sends a signal. I got I got to read this here. This is what Ed Schultz said: the desecration of our nation's history. I think is dangerous, and I think it's mm -hmm. unproductive. Uh, he went on to defend the Confederate flag as a part of America's roots. Oh, uh, then he also said this quote. I think this is on his podcast. I'm reading from Mediaite.com. He said, I think it serves no purpose to this country for future generations if we're going to totally rewrite the history books. And I see an avalanche starting with the removal of the Confederate flag. We have to do this in a smart way. When the reality, Huey, is that all of these monuments and flags were put up to specifically rewrite history and to make sure that it is never change. That's really why you have all these Confederate memorials and monuments all across the South. Yeah, this and I completely agree. Most people did not know this until this controversy came up that the, the putting up the Confederate flag in, in this in state held institutions was a, a rebuttal of the civil rights movement in the 60s. That before the, before the civil rights movement never happened. Right. Very important. Um, if he is true to what he's saying, then maybe the Confederate flag only belongs in the museum.
<laughs> and that, if, if that's the case, then it belongs in the music. It doesn't belong on, a, on state grounds. Well, I take being reasonable again. See, we, we be uh, we be reasonable. Bree wasn't being reasonable. No. no. Yeah. She's being actionable. Well, no, she she was taking action. Well, and, I, and I'm, I'm with Bree, so I'm sorry. I'm with Bree too. So that's right, climbing that pole, bringing it down. <laughs> and guess what? If y'all don't like Bree climbing the pole, we'll take the damn thing down yourself. This really ain't that hard. It's really fairly simple. Being, it's fairly simple. Reasonable again. And they could have voted last week to take it down. I'm just saying, they but y'all want to wait in South Carolina. And then you have some people who are calling Governor Nikki Haley a civil rights hero. <laughs> right. <laughs> Be back on News One out in a moment.